welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It is another beautiful day in New York City. I am now in Union Square and I didn't walk Andriana to work again, but it just so happened that I had to come down all the way to Union Square, which is close to where her job is, because today I'm getting COVID tested. Now I'm actually not experiencing any symptoms at the moment. However, the New York governor, Governor Cuomo, has instilled a mandatory testing and or quarantine for anybody who recently traveled from uh, a few of the high risk states right now. So like Texas, Florida, Arizona, and North Carolina. So instead of me quarantining for 14 days and potentially missing out on two weeks of work, as I start my fellowship, the way we get around that is I just go ahead and get a COVID test, which is immediate. And if I come back negative, I don't have to quarantine and I can go to work immediately. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Hopefully they don't have to do the nasopharyngeal swab, which is like way down my nose, because nobody likes that. But uh, I guess I'll see how it goes now. Well, that was probably the most unpleasant experience ever. All right, so I finished up there. As I said, that was a wildly unpleasant experience. Uh, that's probably what it feels like to have an NG tube in your nose, which is absolutely miserable. And now I feel bad for doing that to my patients. But what can you do? So yeah, they just stuck a pretty thin, long Q-tip up both of my nostrils, twisted it around, and it felt like it was in my brain. But anyways, we got that taken care of. Results come back soon. I'll keep you posted. And I'm gonna go home now and wait for Andrana to get off work. crazy to me that last time I lived up here, this subway station was literally just dirt because it didn't exist. They built it in the last five years or so, which is crazy that all of a sudden you can just decide to build a huge massive subway system underneath an island in a couple of years. It's pretty crazy. I don't know. Maybe I find stuff like that pretty crazy, but you may not. The amount of thought behind a project like that is just like hard for me to really grasp. So it's really impressive. All right, everybody, we got a little mail time action going on here and I'm really excited about this package and I'll tell you why. And you may think, why the heck are you unboxing another one of these? because I thought you already did an entire video on your favorite version of this. And let me explain. But first, let me open this and we'll get to it. So, we have another mouse. That's right, I bought another mouse this one is actually a wireless mouse. It is the Logitech Mix Master 3. No, I am not sponsored, but this mouse is supposed to be legendary. And the reason I got it is not to do radiology. This is purely for editing. This is the, the perfect mouse for editing, and I'll show you why. But let me open this up real quick. fancy uh, packing material here, MX. I call it the Mix Master. It's actually the MX Master 3. This is the second or third version, I think. Woo, look at that bad boy right there. That looks good, whoop, almost dropped it. Wow, so I went with the, what color is this? There are two different colors. One is black and one is this light gray color. Uh, the reason I went with this is because it's going to match my entire minimalist white theme desk setup coming soon, which is this is just a small portion of that desk setup. Um, I'll probably show you guys everything in the meantime when I unbox it, but yeah, so this is, the reason I got this mouse is because it has this scrollable wheel on the thumb, so I can just scroll through while I'm editing videos. So for any of you all who edit videos, it's so nice to just scroll through the um, editing 
windows, I don't know what you call it, where you add music and all the video clips. You just scroll through, scroll through, scroll through. I usually use the trackpad on my uh, MacBook, but this is so much easier. And it's so ergonomic in the hand. Really fan of this. It has a small USB port that plugs into your computer. And I think it also comes with a little charger. So, and instructions, but who needs that? So yeah, you'll see a better version of this when it sits on my desk after I finally get my desk. I'm waiting for that company to send me the desk right now. So really looking forward to this. This is a game changer in the world of editing. I'll be able to edit videos super quick with this. So, okay, that's it for today's unboxing. What is going on everybody? It is Thursday morning and it is my very first day in my fellowship, or last year residency, whatever you want to call it. Currently walked into the hospital right now. It's about 6 a.m. Actually, it's like 6.20 a.m. I have to be there at seven. So, it is my first day. I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, I don't know literally anything about how this hospital works or how the workflow is. So that'll take some getting used to. I don't know how to look up patients or you know have any idea how to work the medical record system or the schedule so we're off to a great start it's kind of one of those things it's like trial by fire you just kind of get thrown in there and figure it out as you go i guess um we had our orientation yesterday but there's just so many moving parts it's just one of those things you have to get in and do it so I think I have some procedures today. Oh, I also have to learn how to use the Flora machines too because those are all brand new as well. So it should be an interesting day. Uh, I won't film it all during the day, but I'll be sure to let you guys know how it went after I finish. Whew. That was fun. Rough day, but a good day. So that officially concludes my first day of fellowship. All I can say is, wow, the learning curve is quite high. I think honestly, it's funny because the easiest part is actually like doing the procedure. And obviously I don't know how to do all these procedures and I'm not like the best ever, but I know how to at least do some parts of these procedures. And that's what I feel the most comfortable about because learning literally everything else seems to be the hardest or the steepest learning curve for me and my co-fellows. And what I mean by that is like the electronic medical records is completely, well, it's the same at EMR, but the way we use it is different. The x-ray machines, they use completely different equipment than what I'm used to. Uh, we were a Siemens group in North Carolina, and now I'm learning all Philips stuff. The PAC system is completely different where we look up imaging the workflow is completely different. Looking up patients, seeing which patients go in each room, learning where the rooms are, learning where the fellow lounges are, learning all the hallways, et cetera, et cetera. That seems to be the hardest part, actually. Again, I wanna stress the procedural part is still hard because I'm by no means on attending level interventional radiologist right now, which is why I'm doing this entire fellowship. It's just things like getting uh, vascular access and that kind of stuff which is like fundamentals of interventional radiology. That kind of stuff I feel good about, but all the other stuff I feel less confident about. I'm worried I'm not gonna know how to like discharge someone or not get their appropriate meds to the right pharmacy and all that kind of stuff. I have to learn all of this. The good news, however, is that I did a lot of complex cases today, which is crazy, because normally we would only do like one of these cases and do a whole bunch of odds and ends, but now we're doing like every case seems to be high end almost, or, you know, like more high level procedures, embolizations, or like stent placement, that kind of stuff. But it is a day before July 4th weekend, it's Thursday, and I have tomorrow off because it's considered a holiday. So I don't know what we're going to do this weekend, probably hang out with the in-laws um, and hang out with Adriana, even though she's working all weekend, but she doesn't work late. That's besides the point. 
Anyways, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video. Otherwise, happy July 4th, and I'll see you all on the next video.